beloved one i hope you are doing well i want us to take a short reading from the book of psalms chapter 127 it says if god's grace doesn't help the builders they will labor in vain to build a house if god's mercy doesn't protect the city all the centuries will circle it in vain it's really a senseless to work so hard from morning till late at night toiling to make a living for fear of not having enough now god can provide i want you to see this it says god can provide for his devoted lovers even while they sleep now this tells us of the great things that we enjoy anytime we come into God's presence. It tells us of the blessings we enjoy anytime we are with God. And then we can do this through prayer, through the word of God, and even as we are about listening to this. So I want us to do something. We are going to like this video. So then please hit on the like button if you have not done so. This helps YouTube recommend this video out there to anyone so everyone can have access to it also by doing this you help in the spread of the gospel and of the good work of this channel then don't forget to leave a comment in that comment section hit on that subscribe button if you haven't done so on you and you here and then get on to the notification bell and do us the favor of tapping on it too you were blessed son. stay blessed it's a price is this is the best of the volume. Can you help us? Can it be louder? Hallelujah. One of the greatest tragedies of men is that they have deceived themselves into believing there is no price for glory, for influence, and for spiritual power. Please, before I start tonight, I can kneel down and beg you. Don't let anybody confuse you. Not everything in the spirit is a gift. Some things in the spirit are rewards. Please don't let everybody fool you that because Jesus has paid the price, everything is just a gift. Certain things in the spirit are rewards. It is part of the justice system of the kingdom. God loves everybody, but he does not trust everybody. It takes a dealing. For now, I know that thou, Abraham, fearest me. Now, not when you left your house. Now, I know. God loves everybody, but he does not trust everybody. Don't just say, because I'm born again, I'm blessed. Watch. The Bible says the heart of man is desperately wicked. And so, before God uses you, there is a system of purging out that wickedness in your heart. And it refines you and makes you usable. Hallelujah. Refine as fire. Be sensitive to what God is doing tonight. My heart's one desire. Is to be holy. I'm set apart for you, Lord. I choose to be holy. I'm set apart for you, my master. I am ready to do your will. Lord, I am ready to do your will. I am ready to do your will. And I will worship the Lamb of glory. I will worship the King of Kings. I will worship the Lamb of Glory. I will worship the King. And with my hands lifted up, 
I will worship and sing with my hands lifted up. I come before you rejoicing with my hands lifted up, and the world wonders why. And I'll just tell them I'm loving my king. Oh, 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 oh. I will tell them I'm loving my king. I love you, Lord. And I lift my hands to worship you. Oh, my soul, rejoice, take joy, my King, in what you hear, let it be a sweet, sweet sound. In your ears, Father, let it be a sweet, sweet sound. In your ears, let it be a sweet, sweet sound. Spirit of the living God, we submit to your authority. Change us. You are seeking men in this season that you will be able to trust with deep things. And Lord, these things are the deep things of God. And Father, we make ourselves available we make ourselves available. I make myself available. We refuse to be carried away with ministry. I will lay down my idols and thrones I have made and all that has taken my heart. Lord, I will bow to you, to no other God but you, Lord. Hallelujah. While seated, can you just tell the Lord how serious you are as far as being trusted with the divine things of the Spirit? I hunger and thirst for you in a dry and weary land. I hunger and thirst for you in a dry and weary land. I hunger and thirst for you in a dry and weary land. All I want is you. I'm determined to pay any price it will take to be used by God. Any price. I don't care what it is. I love you. I can never ever do without you. Lord, I love you. I can never ever do without you. I love you, Lord. I love you, Lord. I can never ever do without you. 
For every step I take And even though it pains me For every move I make But I love you Lord, I can never ever do without you I love you I can never ever do without you I love you, Lord. I truly love you, Lord. I can never ever do without you. For there's an army rising up. I'm part of this army rising up. I know there's an army rising up i'm convinced there's an army mike please strings please strings rising up there's an army hey, hey, hey. we are rising up there's an army Rising up, hey, there's an army, unshakable army, an army of power. There's an army, he's rising up. Say na 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 boss. There's an army, rising up across territories across nations there's an army rising up and they will break every chain break every chain break every chain that's the assignment to break every chain hallelujah this is why we do the things that we do there is truly an army there's an army rising up there's an army rising up there's an army they are rising up They will break every chain Break every chain Break every chain Break every chain Hallelujah Listen There is an emergence of spiritual men Please listen to me. There is an apostolic emergence of spiritual men. Not just men who are spiritual. Spiritual men. A man can do spiritual things. It doesn't make him a spiritual man. There are women who are rising. Deborahs. A prophetic generation. Women with the eyes of an eagle. Women with ears that can hear every sound. There are men of influence that God is raising. You may look ordinary right now. Because there's no money or there's no anointing. You wait until the Holy Ghost is done with you. This is not about English. This is not about those who can speak. No! No! There will be a demonstration and enforcing of the kingdom. Men who know no limits like Daniel and Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego. They will walk through fire and nothing will happen to them. 
they have mastered the mysteries of the kingdom the things that scare men no longer scare them they understand the principles that creates the effect in this realm these are the kinds of people that god is raising not just men that can pray not just men who can just talk no men of understanding the sons of Issachar men who can look to the sky and understand what the language of the spirit is there's an army rising up there's an army rising up there's an army they are rising up to break every chain hallelujah hallelujah listen dominion is an enforcing of kingdom authority and i was sharing with the leaders i sense that very soon the power of god is just going to start breaking out in this place i've just been flowing as the holy spirit is leading me i'm going to teach and will pray and will worship sing teach and worship let's just flow with what god is doing hallelujah dominion listen 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 dominion is not guesswork dominion is not an impartation are you hearing what i'm saying there's no such thing as i impart upon you dominion dominion is the natural consequence of holding the keys of the kingdom that's what the bible calls the keys of david dominion the bible says and it has been given unto you that you will know the mysteries of the kingdom god shrouds himself with mysteries and the more you begin to press into god you have to keep unlocking mystery after mystery the mystery of creation the mystery of the power of god the mystery of wisdom the mystery of the word of god the more you catch this mystery something happens to you here and now in your mortal physical body that translates you that's why the bible says for one star different from another in glory not in shape so you may be ordinary but on the strength of the mysteries that you know you can make proclamations in the realm of the spirit it's not trial and error it's a realm if you are not there you are not there there's no guessing um, you can wear suit and fake it if you are not there you are not there you function only from the strength of that realm and i will give you the mystery It is on the strength of this mystery that you can tell one go and he will go and tell another come and he will come brothers and sisters that is dominion there is something you can know that can make you face any witch in your family and say forget it you threatened people yesterday but right now I speak to you there is something you can know that activates the anointing in your life and you become a living wonder heaven has been seen part of the mysteries of the kingdom is that the moment you strike that chord heaven answers this is what you are seeing there is there is no magic about it and it's not something that happens today and then tomorrow it cannot happen it's not an effect it's a realm of existence you can come there This is what by the grace of God we seek to bring everyone because it's not a thing about a man of God are you hearing what I'm saying the realm where his voice is no longer strange 
and then the accuracy of your life begins to astonish men circumspectly the realm where you walk through limitations as if they do not exist because you are operating from the vistas of another kingdom you see another reality greater so when men say limitation you say where is it i cannot see it because as far as i see i see that my 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 eyes have become attuned to the word of god and it's on the strength of that revelation you can speak when men say there is a casting down you tell them it's only my body that is here but i'm operating from a realm and according to the mysteries of the kingdom when i speak from that realm I enforce the realities of that realm to be present here and now. There is a mystery of the anointing. Very few people understand the anointing. Let me tell the truth. Many people have impartations. They can lay hands. People can fall in the meeting. But see, you can interact with the anointing. He said an anointing can teach you spiritual things have personalities including the anointing you can come into oneness with the anointing and you understand its operation this is not about apostle this is not about prophet this is about ascending to the hill of the lord and you will stand in his holy place there's an army rising up because some of you will be the, not everybody but there's an army they are rising up forget about the limitations of today there's an army rising up and they will break every chain break every chain hallelujah can I have seven people, please? Just any seven people. Just, just come and stand here. I want to show you something. Just, just stand here. See. Okay, want to just squeeze yourself so you can stand. One, two, three, four, five, six. The Bible says, listen. From the book of Revelation, it gives us an idea. Is that the best? Is that all the volume? Don't be afraid. Go ahead and just... It tells us that there are seals and there are scrolls in heaven. Are you following me now? In ancient times, the mysteries of a kingdom were written by people who were gifted in literature and it was folded in scrolls and it was tied with seven seals. Seven being the number of perfection. Are you getting me? And there were certain people who qualified and every time there was need to open it they will unlock the seals unlock the seals the seven seals the moment they open the seven seal the scroll is open and they begin to read not everyone is permitted to see what is written there are you getting my point do, do you understand what i'm saying no matter how much you press into god listen to me there are certain things you will never find on your own are you hearing what i'm saying no matter how you press into the things of god there are some dimensions that are not given to just find like that let me show you something second corinthians 4 can we project that If we can have it um, preferably okay first Corinthians I'm sorry 4 verse 1 in amplified if we can have it in amplified everybody read it amplified if we can get it dominion 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 
standing on the mysteries of the kingdom are we ready please let's read one to read can we have it amplified no amplified all right read one to read stop and what of what what did he call them who is a steward answer me who is a steward a steward is what you trust a man with something a job to do or to hold something for you is that true the bible says that there are certain people it's not because of their fasting or prayer it's an election of grace by the predeterminate counsel of God, they have been made stewards of the mysteries of God. Please listen to me and kick away this junk in the body of Christ. Many people dishonor everybody you see because you just look and say, forget it. Is, 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 are they worshiping a man? There is a difference between human worship and honor. Are you hearing my point? There are men here and now in this earth realm who are custodians of the mysteries of God are you getting my point when you recognize them and open up yourself to the influence of the revelations that has been given to them you will step the goal is not for the men to stand and brag the, the whole body is supposed to come into that revelation but that the dispensing of it cannot be by everybody are you getting what I'm saying so because of this God grants them unusual encounters, unusual light, unusual illumination. And every time the devil wants to destroy your destiny, the first thing he does is he discredits the anointing that is supposed to take you to the next level. Are you getting what I'm saying? That's why we have all kinds of people talking against pastors, talking against men of God, Talking against every, you know, all kinds of things. There are people who are experts. They come and analyze men of God, sit in their homes and just castigate every and everybody. Including pastors. We sit down and we are just talking. Can I tell you something? There are stewards of the mysteries of God. Never forget this. And let me tell you. You will never receive from a man until there is genuine honor to God, to his office, and to the anointing. Are you getting what I'm saying? This is a powerful revelation. It says, let a man so account of us. This is Paul speaking. Let's look at Ephesians 3. Please, quickly, Ephesians 3. And so, the job of this apostles and these prophets and these people their assignment is to unlock these seals open them up what is the law that governs the miraculous why is it still a mystery in the body of christ it should be a mystery to unbelievers not christians but why is it still a mystery because there are custodians who carry these mysteries but have not been appreciated why is wealth still a mystery in the body of christ because there are custodians of that mystery are you hearing what i'm saying it says in in, in isaiah 51 don't turn there it says look unto abraham did he say look unto the patriarchs he mentioned a particular person who was a custodian of the blessing see if you do not understand how the structure works of the kingdom works you will be cheated hallelujah your dominion and my dominion is at the mercy of the mysteries of the kingdom that we truly can comprehend and those mysteries are not just hidden in the holy ghost alone they have been delivered here and now every see anointing does not leave the earth to heaven are you getting my point no go and read your bible anointing does not leave earth to heaven that means every manifestation of the spirit that we have seen from bible days till today the grace and access to that mystery is available in the earth realm here and now hidden in vessels of clay and when those people are recognized 
and their ministries appreciated you will enter dramatic levels hallelujah Ephesians verse 2 Paul says if ye have heard of the dispensation of what the grace of God which is given to me Paul said a grace was given what was the grace verse 3 how that by how that by by revelation he made known unto us unto who unto me the mystery Paul was not the greatest of the apostles but he said for whatever reason I cannot explain but he called me and committed unto me a mystery and so you will hear Paul again and again speak and say behold I show you a mystery brothers and sisters listen please do not let any man cheat you and rob you of your glorious destiny the answer to your greatest prayer request is hidden in vessels of clay and is hidden in the mysteries of the kingdom if you can have the eyes to see it something happened i'm sure some of the protocol people will be there there's there's a lady here who brought some people those of you who know plateau state from gindiri one of the local governments oh just somewhere around the local government there some people came they wanted to make it for the miracle service but they could not make it for the miracle service they came the whole family and they came in for counseling they came with their father completely paralyzed hallelujah completely paralyzed the first thing that moved me was the fate of these people this man had been a teacher for more than 35 years so he's not an idiot two of the children are doctors they are not fools and they left all the way they listened to just one koinonia message or a number of koinonia messages really and the man said they should take him and bring him to zaria can you imagine that a whole family entered their car and they drove when i saw them i opened my heart and i said lord what is the meaning of this and then back to first corinthians 4 please the Lord began to let me know that look son I don't do these things because you are indispensable I don't do these things because you are one superman by grace I have committed to you certain dimensions of the mysteries of the kingdom there are many people listen I'll never forget one gentleman who came and met me one day he said man of God I've been watching you from a distance and I really appreciate you I have seen the grace of God in your life and, and, and all of that. And uh, I, I just, maybe once in a while, uh, I'll just come and uh, we'll just maybe rub minds together. I told him, get out of this place. You are a very irresponsible young man. You don't know how to receive. You are a foolish boy. And, and trust me, I don't mean pride. Are you getting my point? I don't mean pride. When you understand that there are stewards, even if, see, that steward can be your child, your blood child. Are you getting my point? You keep looking at him as a baby and die of what there is a grace upon his life to solve. When that man got down, the protocol people can testify, and started walking, he went and ate the miracle that happened. Right now, they are preparing to come for the miracle service with so many other people and i'm just wondering and i say this from the depths of my heart i say oh lord how many people among this crowd are here crying of problems there are certain graces i don't have i'm not ashamed of it i will never try to venture into certain areas i can recommend stewards that have been trusted and proven and you know here I, we talk about men of god generously i'm not one of those people that sit down and brag and believe i'm alpha and omega there are men of God who have seen things. We recommend books. We recommend people. Are you getting my point now? You must create an attitude. That hunger for the mysteries of the kingdom. And when you find vessels that are custodians of this mystery, you must learn the art of reception. There are people today who castigate 
Archbishop Benson Idahosa. Is that true? He's there though, but there are people who still talk about him. Say he brought human worship to Nigeria. He brought all kinds of things. They, they forget the influence. That man went around the world 52 times. 52 times from nation to nation. He demonstrated a level of dominion. Prophet Bob Jones, before he went to be with the Lord, said one time during his encounter, an angel appeared to him and the angel told him that the name of the angel is Breakthrough. And he said, I am the one who worked with Archbishop Benson Idahosa. That's what the angel was telling him. Bob Jones does not know Idahosa. Yet, a man walked with such a grace and was despised by people around him. Are you hearing what I'm saying? There are some of you right now Certain mysteries have been given to you, but you go home and everybody just looks at you business as usual. Is that true? They know that the healing anointing is at work in your life. It may not be there in full measure, but they know. Every time you tell them dreams and you say, I saw myself laying hands like Joseph, they laugh at you. There are some of you entrepreneurial graces and people look at you and say, as broke as you are, this 200 naira trouser. You see, let me tell you, and I've taught it here. I have a responsibility over us in Christ to teach us. Never cultivate the attitude of dishonoring and disregarding a man of God. If he's not perfect, leave the imperfect part of him and get what you can get and move on. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Once you cultivate that attitude of eyeing this, this is not my pastor, this is not my papa, this is not my prophet. You see, the man of God will keep you only at the limit of the mystery that has been committed to him. But it takes more for you to walk in total dominion. Are you hearing what I'm saying? I just feel like taking away all of these things that some of us have put in our mind. If it's not my pastor's book, I'm not reading it. If it's not my pastor's prayer request, I'm not saying it. I, I have opened my heart lavishly and generously to the ministry of the body of Christ, especially in Nigeria. Let me tell you, in this country, we are gifted with mysteries. Are you getting what I'm saying? There are men and women of God working in this nation, Nigeria. Some of them are not on TV. Some of them are on TV. Some of them are just little gatherings like this, our own here. Different custodians of mysteries. When you find the flow of what God is doing, plunge into it with all your heart. And you will find out that you will come out at the other end a living wonder. Something will happen. There are people here right now who come in from Kaduna every week. There are people who come in every time. I remember I was talking somewhere and I told the people, I said, I may not claim to know all the mysteries of Revelation, there are few revelations here and there that God has committed to me. Hallelujah. There are certain things. Aya, but there are some things God gave. I know it. Are you getting what I'm saying? When Jesus appeared to me, I know that specific things were given. I limit myself to the ministry of that grace that was given. While appreciating and embracing that which comes from the body of Christ. If you're looking for excellence we are doing our best but we may not be the absolute model of excellence when you're looking for maybe the teaching anointing we may not be the absolute model of it but let me tell you something I understand how to enter the presence of God oh yes I know that I can tell you this I can tell you this this is why the meeting was called koinonia I didn't choose the name it came from heaven it's a revelation there are some things that are given to people as an office when you recognize it hallelujah one of the few men that introduced the revelation of the presence of god in nigeria is pastor chris many people just knew the power of god they didn't know the presence of god hallelujah there are certain people who have introduced wealth to the body of christ there are certain people who have introduced wisdom there are certain people who have introduced leadership we keep castigating them and dying of what their graces can build us. See, let me tell you, I'm teaching you, this is the word from the Lord. I didn't plan to talk about this thing, but God is speaking to you. Zip your mouth as far as talking about men of God is concerned. Hallelujah. 
I used to talk a lot about men of God years ago until one elderly woman called me and she sat me down. She said, my son, you are going very far. What you see today, you may see better tomorrow. So it's better to keep your mouth. From that day, I repented and I vowed. If you hear me talk about a man of God and call his name, I'm saying something good. Many of us arrogantly move around talking about people, talking about all kinds of things. Whereas they have the anointings and the grace that will help us and set us free. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Let me give you one example. They are looking for Chibo girls. Is that true? For how long have they been looking for them? Are they not true prophets in this country who day and night are revealing the accurate counsel of God? Let me give you an instance. Apostle Johnson Suleiman. Are you following me? What is wrong with embracing the ministry to say, servant of God, we believe. We know what God has given to you. The kings in ancient time were not arrogant people. When there was trouble, they found the vessels. Hallelujah. Johnson Suleiman was saying something. He said one time, I listened to one of his teachings. And he said he was watching, I think he was watching Pastor Chris or so. It was at a time when there were all kinds of persecutions and all of that for various reasons. And he said he looked at him. He said, but no, come on, the presence of God, this is a man of God. This is a man of God and I honor this man of God. He said he was in Abba and he was going for a program that night. He said that night he saw physical cancers falling on the ground. He said when he went back to his hotel room, he said, oh Lord, what is this? Hallelujah. There are custodians of the anointings. There are men like Benny Hinn who carry the visible manifestation. This is what took me to South Africa. I didn't go for tourism. I went desperate for an anointing. I saw that man, Kobus van Rensburg, single-handedly, he had raised more than 12,000 wheelchairs and crutches. I said, this cannot be pretense. They, they are in the church there. And I went, I said, I'm going. I will pay whatever price. When I got to South Africa, I was fasting. People were just smiling. There were a few Nigerians there opening their teeth and behaving like fools. I went and locked myself. I said, Lord, I came for business. I respect this custodian hallelujah see I was so hungry I stayed in the uh, in the guest house of the chief usher of the church and when it was time I I sat there I think it was row two I sat down there passionately and hungry before Kobu started anything even before the pastor's conference started he called me out by prophecy and he looked at me and he said I see you being like Paul you will be a, a custodian of deep revelations of the kingdom. All through the pastor's conference, he laid hands on me again. And he taught a teaching. Oh God. Kobus taught something about the fathers of old. Let me tell you how mad that man was. He went round a tour, him and his friend. Right? They went to, maybe they would say, this is the pulpit that maybe Alexander the way used. And he will carry a handkerchief and clean it. Lord, there is an anointing on it. And he took it and threw it inside anointing oil. They went to the grave of William Branham. They said when they got to the grave, two of them fell on the floor. Under the anointing. Men, the people who buried him did not fall. But many years, a man came with a hunger. And an anointing from the bones of that general. The man who saw squirrels rise up, form, and enter the wilderness like Elisha. They fell and he said, what will I do now? He caught the grass close to the side of the grave and he dumped it inside the anointing oil. It's not witchcraft, it's hunger. Separate witchcraft from hunger. Separate human worship. Did all kinds of concoction on the anointing oil. My eyes was on that anointing oil all through the pastor's conference. They said, it's time for lunch. I said, lunch? Am I a fool? I leave Nigeria and come here to eat lunch. I sat down. I was, I was, I was hungry. And then they put the pictures of all the generals on the altar for people to come and pray on. When I came, I didn't choose one. I just laid down on all of them. Not just one person. People were just picking one and looking at it and crying. There was no room for that. I laid down and I said, Lord, every impartation from this man whatever made them living wonders i rolled on the picture
just I did everything hallelujah and when I did that Kobus gave me a gift every time he's under an anointing a very heavy anointing he would lay his hands on a material and then they would print that material and he gave me the gift of one of those materials and one day he looked at me he said was it Andrew Murray or who was that now no Lester Sumro laid hands on him and Smith Wigglesworth laid hands on Lester Sumro and he looked at me he said come I want to connect you to the lineage of the generals and he laid his hands on me I carried that experience I said I'm done with South Africa thank you Jesus I'm on my way back when I came I prayed it out and let me tell you I knew I knew I saw two ladies who were sitting in front of us just joking and making noise it wasn't up to 15 minutes two of them were under the anointing and said thank you Jesus we, we, we need to focus hallelujah I'll never forget that time pastor Chris called those of us who were from the north I was a member of Christ embassy but I joined I said let me see who will stop me see many of you are not hungry for the mysteries of the kingdom I'm challenging you tonight I'm not just entertaining you and I stood there people were looking at his suit I was looking see Elijah said if you can see me you need a level of focus church is not where you just come and look at decoration look at it before and after the service during the service your spirit just like some of you as you're sitting here there, there's something in your spirit you are saying oh Lord I know that if I focus I will get something hallelujah Reinhard Bonke. I told you about the stories of Reinhard Bonke. I saw miracles in that man's life. And I followed him to Joss. Stood for six hours standing close to a pregnant woman who would lean on me occasionally. I said, Madam, we are all standing. We are all standing. But I understood that issue. But I told myself, if my legs would break, my legs were shaking at a point. I'm not exaggerating. But I looked at Reinhard Bonke. He had finished preaching. Simple preaching. Like many of you will say he's boring. No rema. Let your pride kill you there. And don't humble yourself. No rema. I need somebody who will explode me. Ah, I said, Lord, even if he's just laughing, I'm, at, I'm still there. I'm attentive. For the first time, I saw the visible manifestation of the Holy Spirit. Reinhard Bonke finished taking the water. Hallelujah. And when it was time to pray for the baptism of the Holy Ghost, he said he would take water. The moment he would take water, there were probably hundreds of thousands of people there. For the first time, I saw a bed that would be bigger than this auditorium. A large bed, white bed. And there were silvery, silvery substances coming down. It was just hovering around. Ah, was I dreaming? Goodness, what is this? Nobody else was seeing it. And I saw it was moving around. Ah, so this is the mystery behind the impartation that Reinhard Bonke can pray for hundreds of thousands of people and they will receive the baptism at once. Not to lay hands one by one, no. To pray for people. When I saw it, I knew something came upon me. Listen, let me tell you. I was focusing on that experience. By the time the bed disappeared, I was back in the stage. I didn't even know when I had turned. I was so focused. Only God knows when I turned. Hallelujah. I saw people crying, being emotional. I had no time for all those things. I, see, when you see me listening to a man that I honor, I can slap you if you, are dis, if, you are, if you are disturbing me. I sit with all my heart. When Maurice Orulo came to Dunamis, I saw a lot of pastors who have no business with dunamis. They came and humbled themselves. I said, may God bless you. This is wisdom. Hallelujah. The guy was just talking. You know how boring he preaches. I said, Lord, uh, this thing looks boring, but goodness, I won't be a fool. I'm listening. When you come for koinonia, I may be joking now like some of you are just looking and laughing. But graces 
there are distributions of graces going some of you just get up and leave and find out that some things have suddenly become possible whereas there are others i know joshua selman is my personal friend i know this guy i know my man i even know the worship team is in us sam abba sam sam the mwingir Watare. and you'll be talking all this nonsense and they are carrying the mysteries of the kingdom let me teach you learn a lesson from today it's not human worship but don't fool yourself all men are not equal they are equal in christ but grace has separated men into cadres. and if you recognize this it's not human worship it positions you to receive and then you too will rise and begin to bless others hallelujah i remember when i was going to minister in aqua miss church when I got to the church, people were clapping. Everybody was pointing, this is Joshua Selman. When I got there, I got down on both of my knees, publicly in the presence of everybody. And I greeted the man. He doesn't know me. I got down on my knees and I greeted him. And I got up and I sat back. I will never see a man of God that is ahead of me that I know and not honor this man deeply from my heart. Hallelujah. I was tired of making foolish decisions and I looked at Mike Mudok. People used to criticize him and say he's a seed, seed man. I said, call him whatever you want to call him. I streamed life for hours listening to him. The day I had a dream, I pursued Oyedeko. I pursued Oyedeko till he visited me in my dream. Hallelujah. Till he visited me in my dream. What are you pursuing? What is worth your time? What is it that is worth your refusing to embarrass yourself? When Oedeko knelt down for a day boy to lay hands on him, ushers quickly ran. He turned and said, you, you think I came here to play? He said, I'm kneeling down to get something tangible. You are just moved by emotions. Hallelujah. Sinaj came into Koza last week. I was in my room streaming and praying in tongues honoring that woman of god i said lord we want our worship team to carry that kind of presence so we will not cast we i i said if i cannot sow a seed or do anything to her let me pay the price with my internet and i was praying in tongues my the earphone was there i was just praying i said lord on behalf of our worship team Are you desperate to catch the mysteries of the kingdom? Are you desperate? Hallelujah. Elijah followed Elijah. Elijah said, Mr. Man, go. He said, no way. Kill me. Many of you don't have the guts and the desperation it takes. That's why I'm telling you that the anointing of the spirit is not just dash that falls. There is a hunger. I carried a seed here from Zaria and I went to Canaan land to go and look for God's servant. And we got there, I dropped the seed and I knew I left that place with a tangible anointing. Hallelujah. Johnson Suleiman was speaking and he said he went to a hotel room where they told him Benihin had stayed there. He said Benihin stayed here. He said how long? They said about three weeks ago he locked himself. He started praying. He rolled on the bed. He said, I'm sure he used the toilet. He went to the toilet. Sat. No, no, no. You, you see people walking and you don't know what they do. I cried when Charles and Francis Hunter, many of you know them. The healing evangelist died. Because I was already making plans to go to the US. What was my plan? My plan was to go and beg them that I want to scrub their toilets for two weeks. I wasn't going for title. I was hungry. In one meeting, brothers and sisters, they raised 100 wheelchairs. 100 wheelchairs. Don't tell me that is trial and error. They did it laughing. Hallelujah. When I started the preparation, they died. I cried like a baby. And then I played their, their VCD. I said, oh Lord, you see my heart. And you see that I truly intended to get this anointing. I know where I'm going and I know that what I have is great but it's not enough to take me there so I humble myself and receive 
Many of you, God brought you here. But week in, week out, you just come and you casually play. When the worship people are ministering, there's no sense of reverence that, look, these are oracles of God ministering. Hallelujah. We are going to pray. The first prayer point is repentance for neglecting the custodians of the mysteries of God in the body. There are many people who say, me, it's, it's me and the Holy Spirit alone. Let me tell you, there are certain things, no matter how close you are with the Holy Spirit, he will recommend you to vessels that, he has, that are already carrying it. I know a woman in this nation, if she prays for you, if you are single, if she lays hands on you, your husband is going to come and your wife will come. This is not all these prophets, people around, moving around. I know this one by the Spirit. Hallelujah. Yet, there are still people. Do you know that there are people that one word they will speak to you, it will terminate barrenness. Is that true? Brothers and sisters, how many barren people are still moving around? They would rather die than humble themselves. There are people today to come and sit down in Koinonia and receive. They would rather go and get the message and hide somewhere and listen and come out and disregard everybody and they find out that there is a distancing between them and the anointing. John followed Jesus to the cross. He said, I must see the end of this mystery. It was only John who saw physically the mystery of the death of Jesus and the cross. All the other people ran away. He understood the mystery of the cross. That's why hot oil could not kill him. There was something he saw that the remaining disciples did not see. What do you need to see tonight that will take you out of where you are? Brothers and sisters, all things are available in the spirit. There are some of you, you are in ministry. You have been struggling for years. Someone sent me a text and said, how do you do with this crowd thing? Is it just, I heard of a woman who said, forget about this young man. You know all these young men these days, the things that they do. Every time God wants to use a vessel to bless you, beware. Because Satan will begin to discredit that vessel. So that when he strikes you, your arrogance will not allow you to run for help. But tonight God is giving you wisdom. This is how the kingdom works. When the ass was missing, was Saul, listen, Saul the son of Kish, he was destined for royalty. But when the ass was missing, they didn't waste their time to say, oh, God also speaks to us. Remember, that was what Aaron and Miriam did. They said, Kai, God, Moses cannot be the only one you are speaking to. What nonsense is that? And God said, ah, a cloud came and left Miriam leprous. It was the leprosy that, that Moses was cured of when God was dealing with him. There are custodians of mysteries. Americans have lost it when they stop honoring the vessels that carry this anointing. Balance your grace message. So that it does not rob you of stepping into anointings. The Bible says, believe in the Lord your God and you shall be established. It says, believe his prophets and you shall prosper. There are men who have been granted stewardship. Hallelujah. I'm going to Elorin, I think in two or three weeks. And I'm telling you, those people are so excited in that city. They've been listening to Koinonia messages. Let me tell you something. I met two women in all sincerity the women told me that they pray and fast every week what's their prayer that god should speak to me to come and open koinonia in abuja that's their prayer they have taken it as a burden upon themselves because they believe that god is doing something they want to receive i've seen the god of wonders what miracles for me those with gifts and talents spoke prophetically. The mantles of Elijah, Paul and Timothy. I want to see that power at work inside of me. I'm 
Tired of the status quo There's gotta be more than this There's gotta be more, gotta be more Help me say There's gotta be more than this For desperate people do desperate things And we press in There's gotta be more, gotta be more Gotta be more than this. Sam was here when Panam was doing how many years in ministry? Panam was doing 40 years in ministry. After Koinonia, Sam left this and went to Abuja to go and celebrate with him. Many people look at Panam and they feel ah, this. See, when you see a man with results, even if it is joke, something made it happen. Are you getting what I'm saying? If it was just like that, it would have happened everywhere. Something made it happen. Something made it happen. Something made it happen. There are some of you who are sick in your body. You are carrying all kinds of sicknesses. You've seen the miraculous thing God is doing in this place. But you are not yet interested. There are many of you who are supposed to be walking in acute levels of the anointing. See? with the kind of atmosphere you've been seeing the, the presence of god that is supposed to find expression in your life should even scare people but many of you you come in and you move around i see people who come from other states and once the service is over they are looking for every and anything it's gotta be more gotta be more hallelujah i remember in 2007, I was in Port Harcourt. I've told you the story. That was when the wealth anointing hit me. I know it entered me. God told me to give everything that I had home and abroad. I dragged it and when I went and dropped it, I went back outside. It was an overflow like this. I went outside. I sat down angry. Not angry, but ah, I knew I gave my Isaac. I knew this one was not Ishmael. Because there was nothing again. My faith was not hanging on anything. And when I sat down, the Lord spoke to me very clearly. He said, son, from today you have entered wealth. That was what the Lord told me. He didn't say you are rich. The Lord told me you have entered wealth. Hallelujah. I will never forget. Four days after, somebody calls me by 6.10 in the morning. Shaking under the anointing. And saying, is this Joshua Selman? I say, yes, who are you? Who gave me your number? He said, that's not the issue. Please send me your account number. I say, who are you? You know, so that you will not be a 419 person. When an anointing is on your life, it is on your life. It has come. If it's not there, you can fake it. You can say, I know Koinonia. I know everything. If it is on your life, it will be evidence to everybody. Hmm. He said, the spirit of Elijah doth rest upon Elisha. Tonight we are going to pray. Greatness is what God wants to give us in this season. And let me tell you, if you will pray tonight from the depths of your heart, you will receive something. There are many of you, your ministry will accelerate if that healing anointing comes upon your life. There are many of you, you have prophetic graces. There are many of you, you are, you are totally confused. There's free counseling here. By the grace of God, People criticize me and say I, I am not accessible. On Mondays, I'm, I'm sitting and meeting people from morning till night. Till night. Anybody, no discrimination. I don't delegate people. I sit down and listen to people and by the wisdom of God, we hear what God has to say. There are people who are sitting. Do you know there are people who live around this neighborhood who have never come for Koinonia? They will just bring chair and sit down outside and enjoy it and say, I know Koinonia more than you. Whereas other people are coming from Kaduna. We are the desperate people. We want more, more, Lord. We are the desperate people. We want more, more. We are desperate people. We want more, more, Lord. We 
are desperate people. We want more, more. Hallelujah. Where's Morgan? I think he, he was he sent me a text about his genotype. There are people who still doubt, they think we are faking it here. Hallelujah. From the day Pastor Jakes, hallelujah, and his wife to be were healed, their genotypes changed from AS to AA. From that day, we have seen that miracle again and again. There are some of us trusting God, but you sit down and say, Is it really true? Again and again, you hear of all kinds of testimonies. God blessing people, HIV. Whole families have been healed of HIV with medical proofs. I'm not an idiot. We are not liars here. We don't fake anything. If it doesn't happen, it did not happen. You were with me, Yerima. Where is Yerima? He's not here. Were you in, in Mina? The crusade we had. It was Jodika. Where is he? These guys follow me for my meetings and they know the things that God did. The PFN people, by the second day of that crusade, look, they lined sick people. There were all kinds of crippled people, deaf and dumb. I've, I've never seen heterogeneous miracles in quantity and quality. I, I knew an anointing came upon me. But there's somebody, you have been coming every week. You are so used to it now you are waiting for the meeting to finish whereas someone traveled and said lord if you are real i have left all the way and i've come if it's to die here kill me here and the person will get up and live with an anointing i met a woman in abuja and the woman looked at me and she said man of god your messages that i've not listened to they are not more than four i have never seen you but i've listened to the messages there are some of you here we, we, we mortgage the millions and millions of naira that would have made from tape and CD ministry so that nobody will have an excuse not to hear the word of God. I listen to every koinonia message, every. I don't sit down and say, it's Joshua Selman. I listen. When there is a prophecy, I get down on my knees and I open up my heart. I don't want to be the kind of man of God that is blessing others and dying. It must work in my own life. Hallelujah. There are many of you, you are seeing tomorrow Annie is going to get married. How many of you remember when I prophesied at the beginning of the year that the Lord told me there will be supernatural marriages even for people who did not expect. I'm sure many of you heard it and say it's just one of those things. The trouble is that many of us always think that these things are just joke or a way of carrying out a program i wish you knew the spiritual preparations that go through for one koinonia service one koinonia service tonight we are going to pray we are going to contend for this anointing for greatness because it's available anything listen anything that is not working in your life you have not known how to receive it because it is available here and now. Rise up on your feet. Hallelujah. We are going to pray. In these few moments, please, I want you to pray. Whatever is this, if your chair is distracting you, pack it up. We are going to enter a, a moment of prophetic prayer. There is something we need to travail and birth in our spirit the goal is not for joshua selman to be one great superstar all of us i believe are custodians of this mystery you can step into levels of glory there are some things that can begin to work in your heart lift up your voice listen hold on the first prayer point is a prayer point of repentance you're going to say lord i repent about talking about any man of god at all i repent i've been the one carrying my big mouth castigating people from today i repent lift your voice and pray lift your voice and pray inside and outside lord i repent lord i repent 
Lord, I repent. Matoko protoko sopata. I repent in the name of Jesus. I repent. Pray. Koinonia, pray. Lekete prosko do boko shopa. Mata prata shakata. Lekete prekete balarabos. Monto prondos ko prende shekete. Lekete prokoto balarabos. I repent, O oh God. I repent for castigating custodians of the mysteries of God. I repent for disregarding men and women that have been trusted to be stewards of the mysteries that produce dominion and authority. Shata ba 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 ba, rakata ba ka preska pete, lekata ba kete, rakata ba kata, shoto ba ko sopata, mente prente ko soto ni anamata, raba ba 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 ba, pray, 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 shekete te kata ba, open your mouth and pray, don't look at anybody, shata ta ba la rabash, those outside pray. There's enough space for you to pray. Walk around and pray. And say, Lord, from today, I shut my mouth. I shut my mouth. From today, I celebrate what you are doing in the body of Christ. I may not understand it, but I celebrate it. Hatabarata koshoto bababa. Lembrekete kete. Rekete koshoto bababa. Your breakthrough is in the hands of anointed vessels. They are custodians of the stewards of the mysteries of the kingdom. They are stewards. The anointing has been given to them. Please pray. That's how it works. Pray. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Say after me in the name of Jesus. Shout it in the name of Jesus. From today, I repent. I'll never find myself castigating a man of God. From today, I receive grace to appreciate to celebrate and receive of the grace that they have prayer point number two I say Lord now I know that there are graces available my life is in need of the ministry of certain graces visit me tonight lift your voice and pray my life oh God is in need of the anointing upon your servants that anointing can terminate terminal disease it can open you up to new realms of power Please pray. Pray. Some of you are just watching. Pray. Everything we are going through, there is an anointing that can take you out of it there are stewards of the mysteries of the kingdom whatever you are going through there are anointings that can take you out of it if you can see it if you can celebrate it if you can recognize it you will come out of it Shotokotopa. 
Rekete kete, rakoto prekete, lekete prosko pokoto, emprakata balaraba. Alleluia. Alleluia. There are many of us, listen. Every relationship you enter is not working. It means that there is something you need to have. There are great vessels that God has anointed. Reverend Funke Felix Adejumo, Dr. Mrs. Becky Enenche, when have you taken their materials to say, Lord, the anointing on these women, it must come and resolve these marital issues. You can brag around, waste your time, and remain unmarried forever. Or take a step and change your life. There are books by Kenneth Copeland on prosperity. There are books by Oyedeko. There are books by David Ibiome. These are men that carry prosperity mantles. It's obvious. Everybody knows that they carry it. You can argue it, but they carry it. Their programs are free on air. When it's time, your job is to castigate and criticize and compare revelation and condemn the man and say this revelation is too childish pray and say lord let me locate the grace that is required to take me to the next level lift your voice and pray show me show me the mystery Oh, show me the grace. Hallelujah. And the servant of Saul told him, Sheila. He said, Come, let's go to a city. Sheila. For there is a man of God there. Sheila. When we meet him, he will reveal Sheila. to us where this ass is lost. Sheila. And they went. Sheila. They took an offering and they went. 
and before they came samuel had seen them and he took Saul. he said is it not because god that has anointed you hallelujah listen you are going to pray there are graces and mantles that god has put upon this ministry you can choose to argue it but if you believe you can place a demand with 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 passion in your heart and say oh lord whatever is working here can't it work in my life can't it work in my life lift your voice and pray Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm going to mention a few graces and you will pray them into your heart. Hallelujah. See. It's not enough. Listen. It's not enough to know Bible. It doesn't solve your problem. It's not enough to know Bible. Fire, fire. When the spirit of revelation comes upon you, you will know not just what Bible says, but how to activate the principle. You are going to pray and say, Lord, let the spirit of revelation fall upon me tonight. Come on now, Koinonia. Open my eyes to the mysteries of the kingdom. The 
the forms of dominion, the mysteries of the anointing, the mystery of power, the mystery of prayer, the mystery of wealth, the mystery of protection, the mystery of love. This very prayer point, I want you to pray with all your heart. Lift your voice and say, In the name of Jesus, Lord, open my eyes to see the mystery behind wealth and prosperity. Pray one more time. Many of you will be surprised. Open my eyes, so God. Show me the mystery. What did you show the father that made them come and prosper? I'm tired of financial level. Oh God, show me the kingdom. Show me the kingdom. Show me the kingdom. Behind the principles, behind the principles, there is a hidden truth. When you find it, you are on your way to glory. When you find it, you are on your way to glory. Oh, pay the price. Pay the price now. Pay the price now. Pay the price now. Pay the price now. Hallelujah. No show us, oh God. The Bible says in Jeremiah 33, verse 3, it says, Call unto me and I will answer. I will show you. Hallelujah. The next prayer point we are going to pray. You're going to say, Lord, separate me for influence. Listen, you will never be able to legislate. See, I see a lot of people. How many of you have seen people go to places and they want to show that I am the boss? When a mantle for influence is on you, you can go to a place and hide, and they will still come and pick you out. It's an anointing. You don't try to claim it and say you didn't give me a seat. He said, because thou hast lovest righteousness and hated wickedness. Therefore, God, even thy God, has anointed you with an oil of gladness above, above. Oh, lift your voice and say, Oh, 
Hallelujah. This meeting is called Koinonia. Every time men look at your life, there is a presence you must carry. You must carry the manifest presence of God. Otherwise, we are faking it. We are not talking of power. We are not talking of people falling down. We are talking of a, you introduce an atmosphere, a presence that everyone around you, whether at work, in class, at home, when you are seated, there is a presence. Everyone comes around you and they know that there is a presence upon your life. You are going to pray. Say, oh God, the mystery that governs the revelation of your presence. Release it upon my life. Your presence. Hallelujah. We are going to pray. There is the yoke destroying, burden removing anointing in this place. Oh, yes, there is. Absolutely. The yoke destroying, burden removing anointing that you can take and command all kinds of deliverances. You step into a place and chains are broken. No matter how hardened that spirit is. Listen. Hallelujah. You are going to pray and say, Lord, the power to break chains and smash the gates of hell. Oh, May it jump upon me right now. Rusa. Lift your voice and pray. Ah, yes, <laughs> 
The power of his presence. It was with the breath of his nostrils that he parted the Red Sea. And the river parted and became solid wall. You must realize that your God is great. Unto him who is able. Say after me, my God is able. Say one more time, my God is able. Hebrews 11 verse 6 says, For without faith it is impossible to please him. For he that cometh unto God must believe, must accept, must come to terms with the fact that God is the rewarder of them that diligently seek him. Great are you, Lord. I know you are greatly to be praised. Tonight we will see that Father you reign. Great are you, Lord. You are greatly to be praised. And all the earth will see Father you reign. You must believe him. Many of you have looked at your situations for so long. Some of you came here with terminal diseases. It's eating you. There's physical evidence. Some of you have come with oppressions. Doctors have told you they're the best. You've come with impossible situations. Will you take your eyes tonight away and look up to the mighty one? You do mighty you do glorious things you're a faithful god awesome is your name you do mighty things you do glorious things you're a faithful god awesome is your name you do Glorious things, you're a faithful Hallelujah. So you must believe that God is able. It's not enough to believe that He's alive, it's not enough to believe that He can heal and deliver. You must believe that He can meet your need. You must believe your need is not so big. Hallelujah. Say, I believe in God. You must believe in Him. I believe in you. I believe in your word and the power of its truth. I believe in you. So I lay down my that the cross might be found in you. Say after me, my God is able. Number two, you must believe in the vessel that he will use to bring you the miracle. 
it's not enough to believe in God you must believe in the vessel hallelujah the power of the Holy Ghost is so strong strong and mighty mighty you must believe in the vessel second chronicles 20 the prophet said believe in the lord and you shall be established he said but believe in his prophets and you shall prosper it's not enough to believe in the lord you must believe in the vessel that you will use hallelujah human beings have always been the carriers of god's anointings vessels of grace there are certain levels of grace you don't fast your way into it it's an election of grace hallelujah the bible says he led captivity captive ephesians chapter 4 it says he gave gifts unto men some apostles and prophets and pastors and teachers and evangelists for the edification of the saints that they the saints will do the work of the ministry that together we will come into the fullness of the stature of the measure of Christ and he gave gifts unto men and he gave gifts unto men I have found my servant David and with my holy oil have I anointed him it's not enough to believe in God you must believe in the word that comes from the mouth of God. Everybody say, I believe. Number three. You must believe and receive your miracle by faith. Mark 11 verse 24. Jesus say what so things ever ye desire when you pray it says believe that you have received it there is a difference between receiving and having it says oh I thought they projected it believe that you receive then you will have it receiving is of the spirit having is the experiential manifestation it says when you pray you must believe receive it it is yours in the now listen the bible says receive and have therefore i say unto you what things soever ye desire what do you desire tonight whatsoever miracle you desire whatsoever breakthrough whatsoever deliverance you desire it says when you pray believe that is yours believe it receive it receiving is by faith receiving is by faith it's not a physical reality you don't receive physically you receive by faith then you will have it In the glory I will stand I will stand And I will lift my hand In the glory We receive Every miracle You have for us in the glory tonight we stand we will stand and we will lift our hands it's in your glory we will receive every miracle you have listen you will never have in the physical 
what you do not receive in the spirit are you listening to me you will never have in the physical what you do not receive it said when you pray it didn't say believe you have that will be lying believe you receive and you will have it number four you must take action listen we call koinonia intimacy but not just intimacy partnership a participation with the holy ghost hallelujah it's not entirely left to god to change your situation it's not entirely left unto you the bible says listen to me that when they came to jesus christ jesus came and went to a pool called bethesda that had five porches and the bible says he saw a man who had been laid there for 38 years hallelujah when he saw that man he told him that would he want to be healed and the man was grumbling and complaining and he did not bring his miracle are you listening to me grumbling and complaining does not produce miracles hallelujah and the bible says that jesus told him john 5 verse 1 to 9 you can read it it says take up thy bed hold on how can jesus tell a crippled man to take his bed it is a people assist him he said you stand up take your bed and walk home in other words if you believe me to be powerful enough take action faith is not faith until there is an action hallelujah acts chapter 3 paul i mean peter and john on their way to prayer the hour of prayer the bible says and then they saw this crippled man from birth sitting at the gate beautiful hallelujah acts chapter 4 verse 1 to 9 and the bible says that he looked unto them expecting to receive arms he did not know that his time of visitation had come and peter said silver and gold we have not he said but such as we have see there are people that have something let me tell you something not everybody is a noise maker there are people that have something it's an election of grace at what point did peter know he had something because the last time the bible tells us he was sinking he was not sure he had something but now he said uh -uh, it's not peter something i have something and such as i have give i he said in the name of jesus oh this is the inheritance of the believer in the name of jesus he said rise up do you know the man did not stand he was just looking because there was no action the bible says listen this sign shall follow it will not go before them it will follow the signs follow they do. listen your faith initiates signs and wonders the woman with the issue of blood began to speak she said this is my conclusion if only i can touch the hem of his garment i don't care who is going to stop me hallelujah and the bible says peter helping his faith to work held his hands and lifted him and the bible says and he leaping stood hallelujah as the word of god comes don't sit down wondering that's the time to say thank you jesus that's the time to celebrate that's the time to check yourself check the tumor don't say i don't want to but no that devil that has been oppressing you as the word of god comes you receive it and you begin to take action this is the last time that terminal disease i wave you goodbye you are gone for good partnership hallelujah how many of us are ready to receive tonight i know that god is going to do mighty things it's going to be very very fast very 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 fast hallelujah 
very very fast ushers if it's possible please start collecting the prayer request because we don't want an interruption if you don't believe prayers are answered in this place please don't write anything you will not go to hell I will reverence you, Lord. I will reverence you, Lord. I will reverence you, Lord. For in your presence there is life everlasting i will reverence you lord i will reverence you lord hallelujah please pass your prayer request to the last person by your side ushers coordinate them let's do it Hallelujah. Please pass it quickly. So we bow as we enter the throne room. Lord, we cast ourselves down at your feet. For you are holy, thou art holy, there is none like you. For in your presence, that is where I must be. Now He's healing everyone in obedience to Christ. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. The one who does these great things. Tonight let no man be worthy of praise. Let no man be worthy of honor. Alpha Omega for the things that you will do in this place I give you praise because you always hear me whenever I call him he will answer me Elijah called on him and he answered him the apostles called on him and he answered them this is why i know whenever i call on you you will answer me listen let me teach you something before i begin to minister you can never be more confident 
than your secret place will give you are you listening to me the secret place is the place of authentic power the confidence of a believer is in the derivative of your knowledge the Bible says let the wise man not glory in his wisdom let the strong man not glory in his strength he says but let him that glory at glory in this that he knoweth and understandeth me I know that there are many men and women of God here who have come from different places to catch the fire and this is why I'm saying this listen this is not about jamboree there is a real person called the Holy Ghost he's not a myth listen you will never be able to walk in miracles until you believe in the reality of this personality that he can find expression in the midst of his people hallelujah praise God Jesus saw tears and wheat and he gave us a verdict he said the enemy has done this can I announce to you that there is a devil that will not relent over your destiny until you put him where he belongs hallelujah praise the Lord the Bible says upon Mount Zion there shall be deliverance and holiness and then the sons of Jacob after that deliverance will possess Oh, there is no possession until there is a separation between light and darkness. Hallelujah. All the powers of darkness that have tormented you while I prayed, the Lord opened my eyes and I saw a lot of torments that are keeping people where they are. Listen, the Lord told me something. He said for everyone, I was talking with my sister earlier on and she was just sharing her desire to receive and I, I went to the Lord about it and the Lord said that all you need to do tonight that's what he was telling me he said if you speak it I will confirm it that's what God told me hallelujah when God told me I started writing a list of the issues I know in people's lives because I've been receiving text messages some of you sent me text messages angry about some situations and my God told me he said if you will speak it I will do it tonight I tell you the truth and I lie not believe the Lord he will surprise you tonight please listen there are some of you I must say this when we mention your case or any issue that has to do with you please don't waste the time of others hallelujah don't waste the time of others struggling and then coming very shabby very complacent we'll just jump you is that agreed because we want to see how we can use the few minutes we have to really do a quick walk in our lives hallelujah thank you jesus lift your hands as we worship you see the rain of your love feel the wind of your spirit now the heartbeat of heaven let us hear just lift your hands i didn't ask you to sing we feel the rain of your love see the wind of your spirit now the heartbeat of heaven let us hear we see the rain of your love Feel the wind of your spirit. Please lift your hands. When I begin to sing, let it rain. There will be deliverances. Let us hear. So let it rain. Or shall spring them out. Let it rain. Open the floodgates of heaven. Moving across this building. Yeah.
hallelujah I see a lot of chains chains demonic oppressions the power of God is already moving but we are going to shout the name Jesus listen listen every time the Lord shows me this I see angels and I see the movement of the angelic right now at the count of three I want you to shout the name Jesus many of you will literally feel like electricity running through your body and those devils there is no hiding place tonight are you listening to me how many of you believe there is no hiding place tonight there is no hiding place at the count of three my God you will confirm your word everyone under any yoke any spell any enchantment at the count of three let the power of God bring such a one inside and outside let the angels of the Lord move at the count of three are you ready to shout now one two three oh, I cast out devils. Go, 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 Leave her, leave her, leave her, leave her. Let the fire of the Holy Ghost show protected. Show protected. Satan, get lost. Satan, get lost. some of you you will run out here by the influence of the Holy Ghost no man will stop you by the influence of the Holy Ghost is the fire of God it will happen to some people from outside outside the fire of God is falling and even inside but I want you to know as I begin to chant in the spirit there's no hiding place for any devil tonight so get take a part Lord, let your power move. Every power, every force of darkness. I release the fire of the Holy Ghost. Let it fall. I release the fire. Leave them, leave them, leave them, ushers. Leave them alone. You will come out. By the power of the Holy Ghost, the Holy Ghost will bring you out from your seat. The Holy Ghost will bring you out from your seat. The Holy Ghost will bring you out from your seat. The Holy Ghost will bring you out. Angel, 
Hallelujah. Now, there are some of you that see men come to sleep with you in dreams and oppress you. They call it spirit husband and spirit wife. I don't care what the name is. Right now, there is fire. Lift your hands, everybody. Responsible for failure. Responsible for delay. Listen. Listen. At the count of three, the Lord showed me in a vision. This one will hit many people. Tonight is a night of deliverance. Many of you do not know. This is what is responsible for your setback. I already see angels standing in front and outside. Listen, it's going to, you know, you will not be able to stand it. It's a fire. Are you ready now? At the count of three, some of you will not finish shouting Jesus. Lord, I pray. You said if I can speak it, you will do it. I stand under this apostolic unction. Every manifestation of the devil at the count of three. One, two, three. Corporate Russia. Corporate The Son of God made manifest that he may destroy, put to an end. The power of God is still falling. I tell you, devils are under major attack. The angels are walking. Don't wait till you fall down. Receive. Don't wait till you fall down. Has nothing to do with falling. Yay! was a sound that I had in the spirit. That's why I'm singing it. Yeah. 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 Hallelujah. Bring her. It's time for her deliverance. I command you to come. I command you to come. Don't force her. She will come by the power of the Holy Ghost. Come. Come and stand here. Yeah. 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 The 
listen a scripture entered my spirit he said how all inspiring are your ways through the greatness of thy power shall thy enemies submit when light enters you it makes you a madman tonight is a night of major deliverance major 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 hallelujah leave her alone stand here stand here listen listen to me everybody look at me please the word of God is not a lie God cannot be joking with you anytime you take your Bible I told God my life and this ministry will be a demonstration of the book of Acts is the acts of the Holy Ghost Sir King Salama Salama He's called the Prince of Peace Salama Hallelujah Leave her alone Be still, stand in one place now Sir King Salama Your time in this body is over Your time in this body is over now in the mighty name of jesus out of her now come out of her out of her sir king salama out come out the fire of the holy ghost he make his angel spirits and his ministers flames leave her now She's free. Sharkin Salama. 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 Salina Kawo Yabo. Sarkin Salama. Dina Kawo Yabo. Your time is up. This is Koinonia. The mighty name of Jesus. Come out now. Out of her. Yeah, boy. Listen. Listen. The Lord is showing me an arrow coming from outside this country. This is what affected this boy. This thing has tied this gentleman's life. Leave him. Leave him. Come back here. Come back here. Now. Sorry, everybody. Come back here. Many of you, listen. Many of you do not know that wickedness is real. You have allowed films to, distort, to, to spoil your mind. If you don't take, I tell you, whatever is stopping, one of the things I will be doing tonight is breaking the curse of marital delay. Oh, the devil, it will answer tonight. Look at, it's already happening. Come out! Come out! This guy has a violent spirit. A violent spirit. The mighty name of Jesus. Every lecker hole you have over this body. I challenge you right now. You will leave him. The fire of God is against you. It's time for you to go out. Out of him. Out. Shall the captives be 
delivered and the prey be taken from the mighty but thus saith the Lord let her go right now thou foul devil come out come out so pray take a pariada baladala. Sarkin Salama Salama Salama. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Listen. Let me tell you what the Lord is showing me about this gentleman. This guy, listen, listen, please. This guy has a very, very colorful destiny. But do you know what I just saw? From his head to his toe. How many of you have read the story of Lazarus? That's what I saw. And he was tied with snakes from his head to his toe. This is what I'm seeing right now. See? Do you know that the challenges many of you are going through is not ordinary? It's because nobody has told you. But tonight there is a God to set you free. This is spirit husband. This is what is stopping this lady from getting married. Out! Come out of her! Out! Now! In the mighty name of Jesus! Your time is over. I'm seeing an army officer. I'm army officer. In the name of Jesus. Come out! Come out! Shekataba! Brentoko Prikata! Out of her right now! This is the spirit of lust. Go pros ketaliada. Be gone! There is no hiding. I tell you something. See, the mistake the devil made was to allow you come in here tonight. I don't care whether you are wherever. If you came here tonight, if except God lied to us in the Bible, but if he told us the truth, there will be a performance in your life tonight. Sirkin Salama. Come out! Out of her right now! Salama Salama yeah. Listen! Let me tell you what happens in meetings like this. Some of you, because of this demon spirit, the one to start pushing you to go out or to run away, you, you better stay and let God help you. The devil is a liar tonight. Are you listening to me? Okay, I didn't finish with this guy. Watch what will happen to this brother. He's not looking at me. Oh. He's not looking at me. Just calm down. Stay in one place. I'm not speaking to him. Don't, don't worry. Stay in one place. You can't go anywhere. You come here. This is a, the head of a snake I'm seeing. Right to his foot. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The fire of the Holy Ghost. Sets you free right now from your head to your toe. I lose you. I lose you. He's going to cough out something outside. Take him outside. He's going to go and cough out something. Sarkin Salama Salama eh, Salama eh. Come out of her right now in the name of Jesus Devil of darkness Sarkin Salama Salama There's someone that has a problem, a heart problem, heart problem. That was your request, heart, something in your heart. I don't know what it is. The Lord is showing me. Please remember I told you, don't waste our time. Please. There's a lot of things we have to do this night. Heart. Something pertaining to your heart. If you are still thinking about it, you are not the person. Please, quickly. Salama, yeah. Salama. Salama, yeah. Hallelujah. 
ah, ah. See, there is a lady. Now, don't feel embarrassed at what I'm about to say. You see snakes in your bathroom, ladies' bathroom. Who is that person? Come out. Come out. This has been an issue. You have not shared it with people. Snakes, you, are, you see it. Who is the person? Please. Salama. Salama, yeah. You are not the only one, no. You are not the only one. This is the problem. God, God is ready to deliver you. Look, this is a family. Are you listening to me? This is not... This is an apostolic ministry. So there is, we are here, we are a family. When God is mentioning your case, forget about what, what issue of shame. Issue of shame is out of the way. Hallelujah. What's wrong with your heart? Asthma. Asthma. Is asthma really a heart? This one, I'm seeing a heart problem. But I'll pray for you. Be healed right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Be healed. Listen, I'm going to pray for you people. God is doing Come out of her now. Out. Come out of her now, devil of darkness. The time is up. Just hold my hands with both of your hands. The fire of God will hold it as tight as you can. It cannot stand. It will leave you because you are destined for greatness. Once I see it in the spirit, it must go. For light cannot hide in darkness. Aha, I see you now. Out! Go! Go! Kapotoka! Reketaria! Mambroskote! Reketeria daba! Boseketalia! Out! Come out of her! Out of her right now! Sarkin Salama! Look at me. Two things God is doing. Hold my hands. Hold it. Do you believe? You want God to set you free? Sarkin Salama! Look at my eyes. You just look at my eyes. Try to look at my eyes. Look at my eyes. Devil of darkness. Go! There is no hiding. For there is a name that is above every other name. What did she come out for? The same thing? Why were you afraid? Don't be afraid, eh? You hear? Hold my hands. Hold my hands. Both of your hands. Look at me. Can you shout Jesus as loud as you can? Go ahead. Salama. You are free. Salama. Salama, yeah. Be delivered right now. I set you free. Now. Do you know what is happening to this lady? If I tell you, some of you will not believe. For every shout that she's making is demons that are going. When she's done, she'll be quiet. <laughs> now, leave her. Fire upon you right now. Out of her. This lady has a great destiny. This is a snake. 
This is what I'm seeing. This is a whole snake, mighty snake. The Lord is against you. Let her go now. Out! In the name that is above all names. Hold my hands, my dear. Hold my hands. No, I'm not speaking to her. Don't worry. Come, hold my hands. I'm not speaking to her. Don't worry. You people do not understand spiritual things. You are spiritual people here. Come, hold my hands. The demon knows what it means, what I'm saying. Salama, yeah. Salama. Hurry up, please save our time. We, we don't have much time. Salama. Hold my hands. Don't tap it. Hold it. Out now. Salama. Yeah, yeah. Salama. Watch the way this demon will live. Come. See. Listen. You will go on your knees. You will bow to the king of kings and go. Simple. You will go on your knees, bow to the king and off you go. Serkin Salama 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 yeah. Listen, this is not jamboree as I see my father do it. Don't go and try it, you will die for nothing. This is not child's play. Hallelujah. Don't you think we are just no? I'm not one of those ministers. I can't come and waste your time. God is too serious. Are you listening to me? Now lift your hand. Many of you do not know. Listen, please. Now is the time to stand both for yourself. If you are a lady here, there is no reason why you should not be lifting your hands. Marriage is a blessing, it's not a curse. As I, as I talk, as I talk, because you see, I, I see a sword of fire leaving my mouth. I want to break certain demonic things many of you don't know what is stopping you and your loved ones for some of you is a role in your family many people have told you nothing just just hope one day no we don't do that nonsense in this place now faith is lift your hands hallelujah listen the moment we shout the name Jesus, some of you listen, you will testify. Whatever is happening to you here, we locate all your loved ones around. Listen, the reason is because there are ordinances of darkness that are keeping some of you. Your parents took you to places in the name of protection and that devil will not let you go. The Lord instructed me to do this. Hallelujah. If you are here or your loved ones there has been delay men come they go or maybe you have a child and you're thinking you will not marry that devil is a liar this night are you listening to me so don't just stand for yourself alone don't say it does not concern me don't be foolish hallelujah are you ready now you will see the demonstration of the power of the spirit Kai, because see i'm seeing blood i'm seeing blood dripping on the ground let me tell you what this means there are covenants and ordinances this is what the lord is showing me but my bible says the blood of jesus speaketh better things better things at the shout of the name jesus the demons responsible for any marital delay god you said if i speak it you will do it right now at the count of three 
it will hit some of you in a mighty way inside and outside lord let nobody be spared one two three break 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 ushers bring them out ushers bring them out break 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 the yoke be broken the yoke be broken the yoke i release you i release you i release you i release you every cause of marriage over your family tonight be free be free be free don't don't take at her don't take at her time to get married hey kapa ba 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 bring them out don't wait till you come out the power of god is setting you free where you are yes 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 ordinances i'm seeing altars on fire altars on fire altars on fire altars on fire i set them if i be a servant of god right now i set every demonic altar on fire it will burn tonight Kotokoto reke kokoto pre so pre to hopo shake pre kana pre kokoto reke te pre shake pre altas altas radical altas to shut up shut up shut up I release you. I release your family. I release you inside and outside. I release you. I release you into your marital destiny. The curse is lifted. I release your sisters. I release your brothers that the fire of the holy ghost I release you I release you I release you just receive I release you I release you Hallelujah Hallelujah. Listen. Listen. I got a text from someone. I mean, they brought someone who was sick. Who was that person? I can't remember now. A sick person. No, they sent I remember they sent me a text that they would bring the sick person. Please save our time for God's sake. We are still going to minister to the sick. Hallelujah. Let that lady go free. Now devil. Let her go free now. Let her go free. I release the fire of the Holy Ghost upon you. Let her go free right now. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Listen. Listen. Everybody say I receive. Yes, it's happening to you. Now, please listen. 
I want to pray for terminal diseases terminal diseases all kinds of terminal diseases please you brought someone or you came here with a terminal disease come out quickly terminal only terminal diseases please let's save time can we do that God is locating people there are some of you God God is already terminal diseases please come out quickly 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 I beg you if you can run run save time please please as you come out here say Lord it comes I hope you know what terminal diseases are healing rain cry unto God wave that sickness bye bye because it's going forever I'm not afraid Hallelujah. Now all of you because of time. Listen. Can you just hold your hands together? If you can. I'll just minister to you at once. Please. If you came here believing God. Then know that it will end. Hallelujah. There is an angel standing here and there is an angel of the Lord standing here please listen when we begin to minister to the sick if we call a case and you came with the person please make sure you come especially if the person cannot speak English for our mothers so that we can hurry up okay the power of God will come upon some of you but it really doesn't matter that devil is going right now the spirit is called the spirit of infirmity hallelujah after a country you will say i am healed when that happens it's like electricity it will pass with power all around this place are you ready now one two three go poto be free Go, 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 go. Coming out this is go. Go, 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 go. By the fire of the Holy Ghost. Go, go. Go. Come back with testimonies. Come back with the testimony. By the fire of the Holy Ghost, come back with the testimony. 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 I speak to you, all of you. Come back with a testimony. Come back with a testimony. Hallelujah. Say, I'm healed. Go back to your seats. You can check yourselves. Please make sure you check yourself. Go to the hospital if you need. 
I know someone with HIV was healed. Anyone who has been, anyone with any CG, see the power of God is, is breaking from inside. Some of you are outside here, you are not receiving. People inside are receiving and they are leaving you. Listen, anyone with any academic issue that Senate has refused to answer, between now and the next 14 days, I command them to answer. Anyone who is at the verge of probation, listen, anyone at the verge of probation, I pick you from where you are and I bring you back as a student in this school. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I want to pray for you. Any course you did not fail, listen, See, believe oh, any course you did not fail, but you went to the board and you saw F. I change it. I said I change it. Man to kapala I change it. Kato I change it. Hallelujah. Any man, I don't care who, who is molesting and oppressing people in, every, in any department or any faculty, whether supervisor or whoever, I instruct them to begin to favor you now. <laughs> Hallelujah. Now listen carefully. Those inside, can you hear me? Can you hear me? I'm standing out because... I want those outside to appreciate this meeting. Now, I'm going to pray for you. Some of you, I'm seeing chains on the heads of... We are dealing with academic issues now. Hallelujah. Listen. I want you to lift your hands. Many of you will feel like fire burning your head. If that... Wait. I'm going to count three. When that happens to you... Listen, this one will affect a lot of people. There are some of you that are first-class materials. But because of this wicked thing, you were excellent in secondary school. It's not that you are bad. Let me tell you, those days will be restored. Because, listen, listen, listen. I'm going to pray for you. Hallelujah. When I count three, inside and outside, with all your heart, shout, I receive. For some of you, that will be the last thing you will remember. Something will happen to you that will change your life. Are you ready now? Please, with all faith. One, two, three. Receive it now. Receive it. Take it. I restore you. Take it. 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 Inside. Inside. Take. Receive it inside. Receive it inside. Outside. Receive it. Receive it inside. Take it inside. Take it inside. At the back. Inside. The angel of the Lord is touching people at the back outside here. At the back, take it, take it, take it, take it, take it, take it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let me tell you something. Many of you will go back now and your academics will surprise you. Hallelujah. Now listen. 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 I want all of you to think about a cause that has been troubling you because I'm about to make it to bow now. Just listen, listen. I'm walking as God is just just think of it in your mind just once and bring it under the lordship of Christ because I'm about to open I'm about to tell it to open up for you. Are you ready? It's already happening to this sister. Now listen, every department, every faculty in Amadou Bello University, that course that is threatening you right now, when I shall bow, many of you feel as if your head will open up. Are you ready now? In the name of Jesus, bow! 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 In the name of Jesus, bow! Bye. 
bow. In faculty of medicine, bow. Faculty of engineering, bow. Environmental design, bow. Education, bow. Social sciences, bow. Sciences, bow. All the faculties in Congo, bow. Every other faculty, bow. Anyone with a missing script, problem of missing script, I stand tonight under this unction and I command wherever your paper is, where, except you didn't write that exam, wherever your paper is, just as the donkey of Kish was found, I command that paper to be found now. <laughs> Hallelujah. For all those whose assessments have been bad, listen, for this exam, for all those whose assessment have been bad, have been, uh, are bad, in the name of Jesus, I release makeup test, makeup assignment in the name of Jesus. May the Lord touch the hearts of the lecturers, no matter how hard they are. Hallelujah. All of you shout, I will excel. Say it one more time, I will excel. Say, excellence is my portion. Say, I refuse failure. Say, I refuse failure. I take you from pass, from third class. I take you into, some of you are, are trusting, let me tell you, any class you need to step up, I step you up right now. I know some of you are doubting. Do not doubt the creative power of God's word. It created the heavens and earth. I said I stepped you. Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. For all those, whether you or your loved one, they've been writing jam after jam, wayek after wayek. You are looking for papers, it has refused to come. If God be God, if there is a God in this place, listen, those of you who are about to weather jam, weather DE, you have papers that you need to make up. I stand as a servant of God. I give you the paper you are looking for. Those writing jam, I prophesy, write your last jam in the name of Jesus. Those writing whether wayek or whatever to make up. And there are some of you who are about graduating. But the papers you have are causing trouble. And right now you already have a problem at the Senate. Mercy. 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 You must graduate. You must graduate. Let something be done in your life that has not been done in this school. God is visiting people. Thank you, Jesus. God is opening people's files, I tell you. God is visiting people. Don't stand there doubting. God will bless others and leave you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Everything called mental blockage or exam fever, all this nonsense that comes on people, you will read and even do tutorial for others. In the name of Jesus. That spirit that makes you to forget things in the exam hall that you will only remember after you finish, right? Right now. I cast that spirit in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. You cannot read like a slave. I forbid you from reading like a slave. In the mighty name of Jesus. I tell you, God is visiting people in a mighty way this night. God is visiting people in a mighty way. Hallelujah. In your academics, I don't care how bad it has been. 
I don't care what has happened from today. Step into that, that dream you saw that your, your results has never looked like it. You have been seeing it. Enter the reality of it. Many of you have dreams. You see four points, but you write exam and see one point. I curse that devil in the name of Jesus. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. I tell you, God is visiting people. Hallelujah. Now, please, everybody who is sick, you came here with any kind of disease. I'm about to rebuke it right now, please. We don't have time. Our time is fast spent. But God is going to visit inside. Are you still with me? Are you still with me inside? Now, those outside here, I want, I want to pray. Everybody lay your hands anywhere is hurting. If it's a part of your body, you cannot lay your hands on, lay on your hands on your chest. Whether fibroids, whether growths, whether cancer, whether blindness, whether deafness, whether lameness, whatever it is, I don't care. If it followed you here, it made a mistake because it's going to leave you right now. Are you listening to me? Some of you, what you call sickness is actually oppression. Because I see that there are many ladies with all kinds of sicknesses. People think you are careless. You are not. That devil will leave you. Hallelujah. Some of you have HIV. It's not like you slept around. You too, you don't know how it came. Some of you have all kinds of cancerous growth. There are people they've told you you, you cannot. I, I, after I finish this, I'm going to specially pray for barren people. Hallelujah. Praise God. Now, listen, all of you inside, lift your hands. Lift your hands for that healing. I'm going to count three and the power of God will begin to come on sick people. Just those inside. Those inside. Ha hallelujah. The angels of God are moving inside. I see them. At the count of three inside, I tell you, many sicknesses will disappear right now. The moment I count three, just take that hand and lay it where it's hurting and start receiving your miracle. Are you ready? One, two, three. Receive right now. Take it by the power of the Holy Ghost. Now lay your hands there. Receive your healing right now. Receive your healing right now. Many of you are feeling like electricity. It's the healing anointing of the Holy Spirit. It's going through you. Begin to do what you couldn't do before. Those outside now, lay your hands there. Are you ready to receive? That devil will not follow you. Now in the name of Jesus, those outside here, receive. Receive your healing. Receive your healing. Growth disappear. Yeah. Terminal diseases go. Yeah. Asthma go. Yeah. Asthma go. Yeah. Every deaf ear be open now. Yeah. Every blind eyes be open. Yeah. If your hair and one leg is shorter than the other, let the other one grow out now to equal sizes. Yeah. In the name of Jesus. Every lady problem, every woman problem, irregular menstruation ends now. 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 The fire of God is burning. I tell you, the fire of God is burning. Every lump in the breast disappears now. Disappears now. Disappears now. Every growth in any part of your body. Every growth. I cause that growth to its root right now in the name of Jesus. I cause that growth to its root right now in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Any pain in any area of your body. I rebuke it. Any trace of mental disorder, whether for you or for your loved ones, wherever they are, and if you are here, let the power of God touch you now. Let the fire of God touch you now. Let the fire of God touch you now. Shake it, kapa. Reke te koto to 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 baka. Ziko tu riapata. Zeke te. Let them go. Let them go. Out, out, 
out out every kind of mental problem whether it has manifested or not out 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 go go every curse every covenant thank you jesus hallelujah hallelujah now any woman here or your sister or you who has been barren please connect now is the time we want to release miracle children right now i don't know whether they have been barren for 10 years 20 years 30 years the bible says and god opened the womb of anna listen i want you to stand you are a lady here you live the promiscuous life and then you found out that okay some things happened maybe you lost your womb or something god is about to give you a new one right now i don't care what the problem is hallelujah praise god i want to curse barrenness and impotency low sperm count all this demonic infertility whatever i don't care if it has a name is going to answer this night are you ready everybody inside make sure you are with me hallelujah praise the lord whether for you or for your loved ones right now my father in the name that is above all names lift your hands i pray there are some of you listen some of you do not know that there are already projections of barrenness on you it's just that you have not married yet so don't say until you are married the devil is wicked god brought you to set you free you'll be surprised hallelujah inside and outside you're going to shout jesus and god is going to visit some people there are some of you god will visit you not for you but on behalf of other family members and i tell you you will see people take in are you listening to me do you believe this at the count of three i want you to shout jesus and you'll see what will happen are you ready thank you holy ghost at the count of three let your power move across inside and outside are you ready this will happen to many people because there is the curse of barrenness and standing for anybody at the count of three shout it with all your heart are you ready one Two, three. Take it, take it, take it, take it. Supokoto, rekete keriata, barrenness. Go, 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 go. Inside, inside, fire, fire is falling inside. Outside, fire is falling. The cause of barrenness. Tokoto peketa for your loved ones. Every barren woman receive children, receive children, receive children. Any impotency, whatever it is, low sperm count, infertility, whatever it is in the name of Jesus, I curse it now by the power of the Holy Ghost. Thank you, Jesus. Please stay with me. hallelujah i want to pray and prophesy we want to talk on the issue of finances right now everybody stand up and take this very seriously We apologize for the lightning i believe that maybe some hitches here and there we'll soon round up hallelujah while this is happening please let's have all the prayer requests outside here look at me see listen look up the secret of financial blessing is in your giving life are you listening to me i don't care what you are doing the secret if you are not a giver whatever you are seeing now is only a deceit it won't last are you listening to me i want to minister to you how many of you know that god is not glorified in anybody's poverty how many of you are tired of the situation of some of your family members you know you know what some of your parents one job here two months they've driven them away this is a curse the problem is that pastors like sugarcoating things they just say oh it's well there is a difference between faith and foolishness hallelujah praise the lord now i want to challenge you
But you please hold a seat. Bring out a seat. You know us in this place. If you don't believe, don't bring it out. I want to break the curse of poverty. Don't you think, please, I, I, if you have something, share with your neighbor. Please, please, please. Bring out a seat. Don't murmur and grumble. Just keep your seat back, please. We are a blessed people. We are a blessed people. Look at me. Look at me, sister. Look at me. Tell her to look at me. Look at me. Just tell her to look at me. Don't worry. Leave her. Look at me. Come out of her. Devil of darkness. Ah, leave you alone. Praise God. See, while I was praying for this meeting, I saw this. Please listen. I saw a particular family. This is a revelation that the Lord showed me. And I saw them around the river. Hallelujah. Around the river with 500 naira. I don't know. I'm not going to mention them so that you don't think maybe I'm talking about a church or a ministry. We don't do that. But I saw some people seeming men of God or whatever around that they were trying to do something about financial prosperity. You see that? They killed chicken. They killed one other animal. I think goat or something. And they were invoking things on the person. And the Lord said, save this family. I saw it in the vision that the Lord showed me. There is nothing we will do here that God did not instruct. Hallelujah. Please, if you do not have a revelation of this, keep your money. You won't go to hell. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Bring out something and connect it. I want to pray for you. You will lift it up. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Inside and outside, just lift it up. Kai, people are oppressed. Ah, people are oppressed. Listen, just lift it. Many of you, the fire will fall on you and your sacrifice. It will fall on you. See, it's poverty I want to attack. It's a spirit. Don't be mistaken about it. It's already happening to people. Everybody lift it. Please, make sure there is a seed. It will be your contact. Clash the symbol for me, please. At the clash of the symbol. Ah. Are you ready now? My father, I pray. It's your desire to prosper us. People have suffered. Families have suffered. Right now, spirit of poverty. Go. 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 Keep the offering up. Go. Go, 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 go. Shake it. For your family, I burn that spirit of poverty. It's a curse. Leave God's people. Poverty causes laziness. Poverty causes lack of failure. Lift your seed. It's your sacrifice. My God and my King. If God be God, I pray poverty be broken in the name of Jesus. Be broken. Shoketeketa. Rekoto pokotupaka. So protokoto. Reketekete. Rekoto preketeka. Jobless. Go. 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 Hallelujah. me my people made a covenant with me by sacrifice I command doors of uncommon unusual inexplicable and sharp prosperity let it be open now for you and for your family that joblessness ends now. Mm, God is visiting families. God is visiting families. Any contract that has been revoked right now by the power of the Holy Spirit, I return it back to your loved ones. The curse of poverty be broken. 
Don't say I'm a student. Become rich in the name of Jesus. Become rich, blessed, wealthy. I program your spirit as surely as the Lord lives. God is visiting people. Twenty-one angels standing in this place. I don't know what I'm seeing. I'm seeing it, the whole of this place. The whole of this place. Lift your hands because God is about to visit you. Some of you, it's not just financial issues. God will join everything and visit you. As soon as I shout, receive it. Right from here, down to this row. This is what God is showing me. The power of God will come in a strong way. Lift your hands, all of you. In the name of Jesus, at the count of two, just two, the wind will blow. One, two, let it blow right now. Take it. 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 Don't wait till you fall. This has nothing to do with falling. It has nothing to do with falling. Receive by faith. Hallelujah. The Lord is visiting people. I don't know what the case is. But when I touch you, just know God is visiting you. In the name of Jesus. In the name of the Lord Jesus. In the name of the Lord Jesus. The angels of the Lord are pointing people to me. In the name of the Lord Jesus. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Aha. Now, out of her. Come out. Come out of her. Shekotopa. Your time is up. Your spirit. Out. Out now. Pain go. Come out. Supokotopekata lekata. Dombretons kebanda kriata. Lord, visit them. Ushers, help me. Visit them. Please help them. Help them. Ushers, so that they don't fall down one another. Visit them. Visit them. Zidaba. God is visiting your mother right from the States. Oh, no, in UK. God is visiting her right now. Hallelujah. Madam. God is about to locate you. Stand up, please. Stand up. Your time of breakthrough has come. Come and stand here, please. I don't know you, but look at me. Three things the Lord is going to do for you. Number one, God is going to change your financial story in a way that will surprise you. Number two, who is sick? Somebody is seriously sick in your family. It's my husband. I have. It's your husband. Because this is what I'm seeing. This is what is sugar? Sugar. Yes, yes. What is sugar? What is sugar? I'm hearing sugar. Diabetes. Diabetes. Yes. Do, do I know him? Have I met your husband? I'm hearing sugar. The Holy Spirit is telling me sugar. Diabetes. Is that correct? I'm, I'm BP. BP. I'm BP. Look at me. The third thing God is going to do. Are, are you building? Are you building? Madam, look at me. Are you Yes. The Lord is saying that building will be completed. Yeah. These three things. Hallelujah. Are you listening to me? Because you have lifted this seed. Many of you, see. Father, visit her right now. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Visit families by the power of the Holy Ghost. Visit families. In the name of Jesus. See, I tell you, I'm not going to touch everybody. But if I do touch you, just know that God has visited you. It doesn't matter what the situation is. It will bow to the name of Jesus Christ. Bring this sister for me, this one. Yes, come. Did I lay hands on you? It's time for God to visit you. Are you listening to me? Take it. It's over. Whatever it is, it's over. Right now. This fair lady, come. Please. I don't know what is it. Come. Don't see. You people should not be angry at God. God, it, I must not touch you. Do you understand? You can see that we don't have all of the time. Eh? Look at me. 
I'm going to end a lot of things in your life. Seven things in total. One by one, God is going to show you. Five of them. You wrote, you wrote seven prayer points. Yes, sir. How many prayer points did you? Seven. The Lord says seven things is visiting you and is bringing on. Was I there when you wrote it? Seven things you wrote. Seven things the Lord is visiting them. Lord, that is it. It ends right now. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Seven things the Lord is visiting you. Somebody wrote 13 prayer points. 13. 13. 13. You wrote 13. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 13. Who is that? Come. You are the one. Come. Was I there when you were writing it? 13 prayer points. 13 prayer points. What did you write about your father? My family. Yes. Peace in my family. Peace in your family. There is fight. Was I there when you wrote it? What did you write about the issue of money? Last week when I went home, my sister was complaining that yes. Because I'm seeing the Lord is showing me your prayer points. That's why I'm reading it to you. Was I there? There's no money. You went home. Even transport to come back. Follow somebody. Somebody gave me a lift. This is, I, I, God said I should do it to prove to you that this is not just guesswork. My God, in the name of Jesus, locate this lady. Your situation ends once and for all. Regina. 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 Who is Regina? Regina, ah, no Regina, don't miss your miracle. You are Regina, you. Ah. No, this Regina is here. Your name is Regina. Where is your mother? She's in Lagos. What's wrong with her? I don't know. Ah. Pray for your mother, huh? Because this is an attack I'm seeing on her, huh? This is an attack I'm seeing on her. Be careful. Don't let any lecturer talk stories and ask you to come and visit him in the night. Does it make sense to you? Yes, sir. Does it make sense to you? Believe it. Huh? And then get into God with all your heart. Are you listening to me? I want to pray for you. This lackadaisical Christian attitude become a genuine Christian right now by the fire of the Holy Ghost. Grace to pray. Grace. Taiwo. God is visiting your mother. Just look at me. God is visiting your mother. Lord, visit her in the name of Jesus Christ. Right from here. Just as a point of contact, God is touching her in Lagos. Visit her in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Visit her. This, this girl, eh? Bring this lady crying. Lord, end this captivity in the name of Jesus. This lady's family do a lot of diabolic things. Are you listening to me? And they have put, they have put things in this girl as a medium. This girl you are seeing, she's not the person you are seeing standing here. Hmm? This girl is very old. She's not as young as you are seeing. As in, I mean in the spirit realm. I'm seeing somebody that is up to 800 years old. Hallelujah. Are you saying, look at, look at this. Bring her. This is what is wrong. They, they invoke spirits of ancestors into this girl. Come and stand here. Because they did it in such a way, listen, they did it in such a way and this is the invocation that no matter how much you are a man of God, you will not see it. This is what they did. Look at I've seen it. I'm seeing it in the spirit. Look at this is why this cry is happening. They, they programmed it. I don't know how it is. Many men of God have attended to this lady. They didn't see it. I don't know why. Because as I'm standing now, I'm seeing a tree. This is a tree I'm seeing. A very tall tree. Keep quiet. This lady, you see, she doesn't even know if this lady gets angry, she can beat even five guys put together. Are you listening to me? She, 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 I mean, beat you and put you on the ground that you will cry. Even her, 
right from a small age, she has been seeing this strange power. This is not normal. I need to rebuke that. Some of you are like that. You just think it's your family. You beat all your classmates in nursery school. Beat all your classmates. In. You are happy about it. Hallelujah. I have to set this girl free. I'm seeing rings on her legs, rings on her hands, huh? ring on her eyes, even on her eyes here. What kind of nonsense is this rubbish thing? Hmm? Keep quiet. This noisy spirit. You will go out now in the mighty name of Jesus. Hmm? Keep quiet. Keep quiet. Huh? Two of us won't be talking. You are going to leave. There is a legal access that is given to you. But the Bible says the captives of the mighty shall be delivered. And listen, leave her. Please leave her. Don't hold her. Look at me. Listen. Behave yourself right now. I'm going to rebuke this. Some, it will create a ripple effect on all our family members because they mentioned their names as they were killing chicken. This is what I'm seeing. One by one, they will mention their names and kill chicken. Leave her, leave her, leave her, leave her. Come back. Just leave her. She will come back by herself. This thing is more than 800 years. This is what I'm telling you. Am I wasting your time? Am I wasting your time? Leave her, leave her. When she's done, she'll come and stand here. These are demonic things. Don't be distracted by all this drama. Let's concentrate on what God is doing, please. Mama, come. Come and stand here. Your time of visitation has come. I don't know what you came here for. Eh? Your time of what did you come here for? You are barren. Is that? Yes, sir. You are barren. Yes, sir. How many years? 13 years. I'm seeing one and three. Mm -hmm. How many years? 13 years. 13 years. You have been barren. Your, your, your situation has come to an end. <laughs> Hallelujah. Lay your hands on your stomach. What did the doctors tell you is in your stomach? Nothing. They will do scan, nothing. But you are feeling movement in your body. Yes, yes sir. Yes, sir. In the night when you are sleeping, it will be as if a man wants to sleep with you. Yes, sir. A man comes to sleep yes, and it has even affected your relationship. Yes, sir. Eh? You don't even have affection for him. Yes, yes. Do you know me? No, sir. Have you ever seen me? No. Your time of freedom has come this night. Because this is what I'm seeing. I'm seeing a stone, a stone inside your stomach. You used to have pain when you sleep. Sharp pain. This is a stone I'm seeing. Hmm? This thing is a demonic thing. Lay your hands. I open this womb right now. Let the womb take in by the power of... Take it right now. All right, it's time for you to go. Now, in the name of Jesus, I challenge you, come and stand here. There's no time. See, demons can distract. If you waste time on them, they are going to distract you. Are you listening to me? All these things are distractions. Learn this. This is not just a place to receive. It's a place to learn. Many people focus. I'm not against all of but it's not necessary. We don't have all of this time. Are you listening to me? Come and stand here. Quickly, come and stand here. It was finance, right? Okay. Let God solve somebody's problem right now. Listen. I release you into financial blessings. 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 Hallelujah. Pastor Jakes is going to come. Bishop Stan is going to come. They are going to speak prophecies into you. Hallelujah. I wish we had time. But as they speak, please receive. Hallelujah. 
they will speak and while i go up there when they are done will come and pray on your request can you wait a few more minutes can you wait a few minutes pastor jackson okay please ushers just cast your offering cast your offering quickly ushers all over if there are no ushers just be patient inside and outside please make sure you drop your money to only ushers hallelujah please lift up your hands there's no time joining hands with bishop and as we pray whatever you desire okay whatever giftings you've been trusting god to unlock in your life whatever dimension of god you've been trusting god to push you into as we pray corporately the presence of god and the oil of god will be poured upon you in the name of jesus father thank you in jesus name I give you praise in the name of Jesus, even as you have declared through your servant. Lord, as we cast this seed, may it be an end to poverty and financial hardship in the name of Jesus. You cause doors to be opened for every family represented here in Jesus' name. We stand in agreement and rebuke devourer in the name of Jesus. Devour us in form of sickness, in form of accident. We rebuke you in Jesus' name. Amen. We set everyone free. Enter into your financial liberty Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. Marital liberty Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let me invite the ministers as we pray on the request. If you've not written your request, please write it here quickly. I want to, after this, I'm going to be inviting Uneko and his wife who are going to be dedicating and praying for their child. Hallelujah. And any other woman with child here, you're going to come out with your child. We're going to pray and speak protection after I do that very quickly. Hallelujah. Please. Very quickly. Stretch your hands while you are seated. You don't need to stand up. Stretch your hands as we pray on this request. Go ahead and pray. Father, we pray that you visit your people. Visit your people, O oh God. Visit your people. Visit your people. In the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, visit families. In the name of Jesus. Grant every spiritual blessing that your people are asking for. Father, we thank you in the name of Jesus. We pray that every prayer point here, Lord, is answered in the name of Jesus. We release the angels of God to bring answers and solutions to needs in the name of Jesus. Let breakthroughs come, academic blessings in the name of Jesus Christ. We pray for businesses. We ask that prayer points here about businesses, that the Lord will open up doors in the name of Jesus Christ. We ask for healing. We release the healing of God upon your lives in the name of Jesus Christ. We bring salvation into your family. The Lord visits your family in the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord blesses you with peace joy in the name of jesus christ of nazareth refreshing comes from the presence of the lord refreshing comes from the presence of the lord in the name of jesus christ of nazareth every closed gate is open in the name of jesus christ of nazareth every dark cloud is rolled away in the name of jesus christ of nazareth father we thank you we give you praise we celebrate you in our lives in the name of jesus christ of nazareth hallelujah put your hands together for the lord Hallelujah. Please quickly, quickly, quickly. All the children, quickly, quickly. Please save time. We just have about five minutes or so and we're out of. Celebrate them as they come if you know God will give you children. Please come and line up here quickly, quickly. Great are you, Lord. 
greatly to be praised and all the earth will sing father you reign great are you lord hallelujah praise the lord now let me pray please uneku come up with your wife how many of you remember them worship team come on celebrate your own technical celebrate your own too see they're all seated together is that where they met hallelujah hallelujah everybody stretch your hands towards them this baby is a miracle baby i tell you i was there in the hospital i didn't even know the baby was on the bed i said where is the baby hallelujah stretch your hands and pray rebuke the hand of satan do it as though you are praying for your own child rebuke the hands of satan this baby is blessed growing normally daddy and mommy are healthy in the name of jesus We dedicate this child in the name of the Father, the name of the Son, and in the name of the Holy Spirit. This child will grow in wisdom, in stature, and in favor with God and with men. We command this child to be an ambassador. We program his destiny to glorify Christ alone. In the name of the Lord Jesus, I pray for peace in this house. This will only be the first child and not the only child. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Pastor Jakes and Bishop Stan, can I invite you just to come and lay hands on these children? Hallelujah. As we lay hands, all three of us will lay hands. You just lay hands. I will come back and lay hands on them. As we lay hands on the children, we rebuke the hands of Satan. We rebuke the hands of Satan. No, let me lay hands on them before they go. We are, we are doing it all of us, please. Very quickly. These are instructions that God is giving. We are not just doing these things carelessly. Any child, any one child that has anything that is not of God, we cancel it right now. We cancel it right now. Eh? In the name of the Lord Jesus, may the Lord visit this child. Let his hearing be perfected. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. See how wicked Satan can be. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. These children are blessed. Where is he? Bring him. The boy ran away because this boy wants to kill himself. It's the spirit that wants to kill him. Where is he? he run away. I tell him to stand, but he went. You see what I told you, spirits? He ran away to where? Wherever he is right now, in the name that is above all names, may the Lord visit him. Yeah. You will go back and you will come and testify. Yeah. Hmm? I'm seeing the fire of God on him. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. The Lord visits him. You are standing on his behalf. In Jesus name. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord bless you. Uh -uh. Come out of this girl. Devil of darkness. May the Lord bless you. Madam God is really visiting your family. May the Lord. Uh, you came out for yourself. Or for your child. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord bless you in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. I prophesy upon your life. Please stand up, everybody. Be rounding up now. Every closed door in the name that is above all names, I open it right now. every door of failure and disappointment in the mighty name of jesus let that door be open now i pray right now any voice that is speaking against you and your destiny i command those voices to be silenced right now Whatever is stopping your spiritual development, 
whatever is stopping your passion for God, one leg in, one leg out, I pray, I release encounters to your life. Encounters with angels. Encounters of heaven. Visions and revelations. Dramatic encounters with Jesus Christ. I pray for the spirit of prayer. May it come upon you in a mighty way. Who is this? Oh, see the boy is back. Come. Look at me. How are you? The Lord will set you free. Eh? You love Jesus. Look at me, look at me. You love Jesus. Do you like what happens to your life? Huh? Are you tired of it? Look at me. Are you tired of it? Huh? You want to be free from it? Huh? Madam, it's not this boy that is doing these things. Are you listening to me? This is a suicidal spirit. Huh? This is demonic. Because this boy is destined to be great. Are you seeing? And this is why the devil wants to destroy him. Hmm? Look at me, my brother. Why did you go away? Okay. He doesn't even know why he left. Hallelujah. The mighty name of Jesus Christ, that devil of darkness. Your time in this boy's body is over. The fire of the Holy Ghost against you. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I'm praying for you right now. Who is Bulus? It's his uncle. Bulus is his uncle. Do, you, do I know Bulus? Where is he? Hold my hands. Father, I pray that the wickedness of men will not catch up with this boy. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. My God and my King, I pray for a dramatic visitation. Look at me. Look at me. Go to church. Join a fellowship. Huh? These bad guys that are around you, they will destroy you. I cancel your appetite for them. They are, they are, trying, to, they are trying to introduce you into wheat and all of this nonsense. You will not have appetite for any of these things. Hmm? You will become an obedient and a respectful child. This hardened heart this night has been replaced with the heart of stone. Salvation comes to this family. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Rehila. Who is Rehila? Do you know anybody called Rehila? What is, I mean, well, I'm hearing the name Rehila. This is your daughter? Come. How are you, my dear? Hold my hands. See a mystery. I'm going to be praying for you. But is that your sister that is going? Hold, hold on. Don't tell me. I, I don't want you to tell me. Hmm? Don't tell me. Don't worry. That's your sister, dear. I'm seeing light. It's leaving you and it's entering. I'm going to pray for you. But the prayer is going to affect her. Hold my hands. I set you free right now. I set you free right now. Lose, lose her from that chain. Be loose right now. Let the fire of the Holy Spirit. There is deliverance going on in your family right now. I don't know why this is happening, but God is bringing you from Brother, look at me. Please be a gentleman, okay? Be a gentleman. Love God. Be serious with your life. You are a healer. Okay. Well, you came out. Let me pray for you. The, the Lord is not giving me anything exactly. What do you want the Lord to do for you? Ah, you don't know. I'll just pray generally for you. Go. Is that okay? Lay your hands on your chest. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I command favor to your life. I command favor. 
favor favor is one blessing that the lord has given us here i release it into your life right now whatever has been a challenge for you may god speak it listen when god speaks over your situation that's all it ends if you are here i didn't call your case but you came with an expectation right now in the name of jesus i pray for you may the lord visit you at that point of your need every habit here that is not of god masturbation pornography all of these devilish things that are destroying people i cast it out of your life forever i cast it out of your life forever it will not return again i cast it out i cast it out of your life every form of immorality that stops you from entering the dimension god wants to take you i release grace upon you to walk in genuine holiness and purity in the name of jesus christ i pray for your parents and your loved ones as god visits you here may he visit them as god visits you here may he visit them in the name of the lord jesus christ as we step into the seventh month may it be a time of perfection for you may it be a time of perfection for you may it be a time of perfection for you what you have not accomplished from january to june accomplish it in july i command promotion i command promotion all of you in ministry i pray that you will see a greater anointing in your ministries i release greater fire in your fellowships in your churches in your ministries let devils be casted out let the sick be healed let sinners be saved in the name of the lord jesus christ i command increase and expansion for ministries here in the name of the lord jesus christ all of you planning for marriage i command whatever resource you need i release it for you even if the man has not come i bring him into your life even if the woman has not come i bring her into your life in the name of the lord jesus christ hallelujah now inside and outside this is an opportunity for those who have never given their hearts to the lord please stand up everybody keep standing please hallelujah the greatest miracle that can happen in this place is that you are translated from the kingdom of darkness into the kingdom of god's dear son you have seen the miracles and all of these things but there are many of us that need to make a decision for the lord jesus christ hallelujah and right now as we begin to clap i'll count one to five praise god inside and outside please give them space inside and outside i want you to come before the lord here you've never given your heart to the lord or you made a decision for jesus once you made a decision for jesus once but you found yourself derailing please come out and stand here in the name of jesus please leave your seat and come out appreciate them they are coming god bless you please rush rush run 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 don't be afraid god bless you as you come god bless you as you come don't be ashamed inside and outside god bless you as you come they are coming koinonia celebrate them outside make sure you don't stay back don't let any devil rob you of the greatest blessing keep coming keep coming young and old keep coming thank you jesus hallelujah keep coming hallelujah praise the lord now when i do this selena and my sister and their roommates please you come and stand i'll pray for you hallelujah all of you hallelujah now lift your hands, those of you in front. Thank you so much for coming. Say after me, Lord Jesus. I love you. I believe you died for me. I believe you rose again for me. I receive eternal life into my spirit. I declare that I'm born again. I'm saved. Jesus is lord of my life i denounce sin and satan from today the holy spirit lives in me 
I have eternal life and the gift of righteousness and I will reign in this life. And I declare by the power of the Holy Spirit that I'll never be the same again. My life is transformed in the name of Jesus. Dearly beloved, I hope you were blessed by this message. I want you to keep doing something for this man of God, our man of God, Apostle Joshua Salmon. And that is, I want you to keep on praying for him that the cause of the gospel may have free flow in him, that he may be granted boldness to continue with his commission of Jesus Christ and that all provisions be given unto him as he continues in this journey of Christianity. And then don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you are new here. Don't also forget to leave a comment in the comment section and then keep sharing. Keep sharing abroad and let's all keep sharing Jesus. I'll see you again. Bye.